On the 21st of August 1986, 1,700 people died from suffocation by carbon dioxide released from Lake Nyos in Cameroon, Africa. Magma, or molten rock, under the lake was releasing carbon dioxide, which dissolved in the lake water. A layer of water at the bottom of the lake got saturated with carbon dioxide, meaning there was as much dissolved as possible. More gas became trapped under this layer. In 1986, a landslide released about 1.6 million tons of this gas. Lake Nyos is now being degassed in order to make it safer. As the earth cooled, water vapour in the air condensed to form the oceans. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere then dissolved in these oceans. Scientists think that about half of the carbon dioxide was lost from the atmosphere in this way. Some marine organisms, such as coral, mollusks and starfish, use dissolved carbon dioxide to make shells of calcium carbonate. As these creatures died, their shells fell and became sediment. Over millions of years, all these layers of sediment became sedimentary rock. Limestone is mostly calcium carbonate. Scientists believe that life started on Earth about 4 billion years ago. About 1 billion years ago, some organisms developed the ability to photosynthesize, taking in carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. Over time, more photosynthesizing organisms evolved, including plants. Increasing levels of photosynthesis sped up the rate at which carbon dioxide was removed from the atmosphere and the rate at which oxygen was added. This diagram shows how some scientists think that the Earth's atmosphere has changed over time.